teachers from Downingtown East High School in Chester County, and they have just entered the classroom. The show where students go head-to-head -head with their favorite teachers. And Chester County, did they ever show up? Yeah, that support team. Woo. Hey, it's winner take all in the cash and bragging rights. Before we get our contestants, I have to see who studied. It's time for a pop quiz. Way to go, front row. You guys were blowing my eardrums off. You guys ready to play some classroom yes, here? You showed up in your own t-shirts. I love that. All right, grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer, guys, is going to be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in. We'll have a chance to steal those points. Are we ready to play? Yeah. You guys ready? Yeah. Pop quiz starts now. Call Out My Name is a single released by what singer in 2018? Maggie. The Weeknd? Weekend is right. Students on the board. How many laps around a standard outdoor track is 400 meters? Mr. Bennett. One. One's right. Teachers fire back. In what book does Louisa Clark show a wheelchair-bound man that life is worth living? Miss Day. Me before you. Teachers again, yes. What is the minimum age to become a member of the U.S. House of Representatives? Mr. Bennett. 40. Uh, Students for the steal. Shiro. 28. Uh, 25 was the correct answer. 25, you were close. Fred, Barney, Pebbles, and Bam Bam are all characters in what classic cartoon? Mr. Doherty. The Flintstones. The Flintstones. Yabba dabba do. In 2017's Wonder Woman, Diana sets out to stop what war? Mr. Bennett. World War I. World War I's right, yes. What is the clear protective coating on the front of the eye called? Miss Day. The cornea. Cornea is right. Teacher's on a roll here. What year was the Missouri Compromise passed? Miss Day again. 1940. Students for the steal. Maggie. 1865. 1820 was the answer we were looking for. In what U.S. national park can you find the famous geyser Old Faithful? Mr. Bennett. Yellowstone. Yellowstone's right, teachers again. And that is it for Pop Quiz. Wow, what a round for our teachers. 60 points on the board. What a start. Apparently those shirts work. Students with 10 points. But hey, today we have students and teachers from Downingtown East High School in Exton, PA, home of the Cougars. And let's meet some of these team members right now. Catherine, what's going on? How are you? Welcome to the classroom. Thank you. $500 <laughs> on the line. If you guys win, where's that money going today? Um, it's going to our school academic team to help fund uh, our academic um, competitions that happen outside of school. Awesome. So you've done the academic thing before. You're ready for this. <laughs> uh, and you've got a big background as well in volunteering. Tell me about that. Yeah, I, on weekends, I actually volunteer as an assistant art teacher for children. Um, so in the community. So, it's so like, do you want to see the teachers win today or students? Obviously, you, you're both. You're a teacher <laughs> and a student. Um, well, obviously, I'm rooting for my own team. But you mean at five hundred dollars? Let's do it for the <laughs> yes. academics. I got you, Maggie, eleventh grader. What's your favorite class in school and why? Um, I really like social studies in general, but right now I really like I like psychology class, and I had that with Miss Day over there. Miss Day on the other team, she's yeah. smiling, she's so happy. Yeah. What's she like as a teacher? Miss Day's a good teacher. She's like really involved with our like students. Like you know, she pays attention. What's the weirdest thing she does? Miss Day's a crazy cat lady. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. You just said that with the utmost confidence. A crazy cat lady? Is she really? Yeah. So, so when I get over there, I need to ask her about this? Yeah. All right, stay definitely. tuned, America. This is going to be good. <laughs> Shiro, League of Legends, I hear, is kind of your thing. Uh, yeah. I like, just play it all day, every day. <laughs> I'm all in that. So you get home from school, you have a quick snack. How long are we talking? Like 20 minutes, jump on a game? Uh, you're greatly underestimating. <laughs> 40 minutes, you jump on a game. You're getting warmer. <laughs> How long are you in these things for? I'm good two hours at least. Woo! And you're still doing well in school? 
Debatable. Okay, my man. Well, you're on the classroom, guys. You got a free blank slate today, so do well. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the crazy cat lady, Miss Day, awesome. and the teachers. Good to see you guys. <laughs> Is that an underestimation of what she's saying right now? No. All right, so before we even get to that, $5 million on the line, where's that money going today? We are donating to our school suicide prevention club, Avita. Uh, we want our students to all know that we've got their back as our bracelets. Today, That's awesome. So. And you have them on your shirts as well. You guys look yeah. awesome. <laughs> Matching shirts today. Whose idea were these? Miss Day. All right, so Miss Day. So let's get right into it. Cat okay. lady. Yeah. Like, how intense are we talking here? Okay. What, are you kidding me? Can we get a close-up to this? You guys are going to believe with this. Does that say meow? It says meow. It does. You have a tattoo on the inside of your lip that says meow. I do. How yes. many cats do you currently have? I have three. Shout out to Tink, Toodles, and Pan. Yeah, sure. Maybe they're watching at home right now. All right, I can vouch. That's the craziest tattoo I've ever seen in my life. Miss Day, I'm so pumped you're here, and good luck I with the too. Tink, Tonk, and... Tank Toodles and Pan. Yeah, we love yeah. those guys. <laughs> Mr. Bennett, not a crazy cat guy, 11 years learning support. Yep. But you got some stress today. I do. I got a lot of stress on me right now. My uh, wonderful wife, Andrea, has also been on a game show, and she won. And so, she won. She did. She so did. you have some big shoes to fill? I certainly do. All so right. I got to bring it home for. Well, you, for, and you for got her. two great helpers here, yes. which is nice. Yes, Mr. Absolutely. Doherty, good to see you. Three years physics. Mm -hmm. My man's about to have a little bit more stress in his life. He's got a baby on the way. Yeah, I'm uh, uh, expecting a son in December of this year. So right. My wife and I's first uh, first kid. So Are you ready for that? Uh, no, no. <laughs> no one ever is, man. No one ever is. Well, good luck today, teachers. Loving the shirts. Loving that 60 points on the board. But somebody, guys, we got to send somebody to detention. Let's do it. <laughs> Tink, Tonk, if you're at home right now, Miss Day says hi. All right, teams, put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. This is how detention works. I'm going to give the trailing team a category. As a team, you'll have 10 seconds aside if you want to pass or if you want to play. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, this is the best part. You can send a member of the other team to detention. But if you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. So be very careful. If you pass, the other team, the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everybody to detention, they're going to win 40 Points. Are we ready to do this? Yeah. Maggie's laughing and smiling. She's so ready. <laughs> All right, students, we're going to start with you. The category is college sports. Do you want to pass or do you want to play that? Play. You want to do this? You want to do it? Pass. Do you want to pass? We can pass. <laughs> we're passing. They don't love college sports. What kind of animal is the mascot of Temple University? Owl. Owl. An owl. An owl is right. Students with the pass came back to bite them. And now one of you is going to detention. Teachers, who is it? We're going to go with Cat, Team Captain. Team Captain, Catherine, sorry about that. You are out of the game, taking a walk to detention. That was so sad. You were like, oh, guys. <laughs> All right, teachers, your category is science. So do you want to pass or do you want to play, play that? Play. 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 Here's your question. What is the name for the liquid part of blood? Yeah, I think so. Plasma? Plasma is right. Just like that, teachers get another one correct. And we're about to be down to one student. Who's going to detention? More importantly, who's being left to play by themselves? Uh, we're going to send Chiro. Chiro is out of the game, which means, Maggie, you are all left. Chiro, sorry, man. Sorry. You really do be like that yep. sometimes. The next question was all about League of Legends, too, which would have been right up your alley. That's an L. All right, Maggie, your category is viral trends. Do you want to pass or do you want to play that to the teachers? Uh, I'll play. Here we go. What popular 2016 challenge had people freeze in place for a camera? The mannequin challenge? Yeah, mannequin challenge is right. Which means you get to send one of these beautiful teachers oh, no. to detention. Who's going? I'll do this dead. Yeah, the crazy cat lady's out of the game. That's always nice. You get to send your teacher to detention, right, Maggie? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Teachers, back to you. The category is math. Do you want to pass or play that? Let's play. play. How many sides does a decagon have? Ten. Ten. For the win of detention, ten is right. Which means, Maggie, you can take the walk over to detention. Miss Day, you're officially out. Our score is 100 points for the teachers, 10 for the students. Sell anybody's game. We're going to be right back.
the classroom today, we have students and teachers from Downingtown East High School in Chester County. They're battling it out. Right now, the score, teachers are in the lead, commanding 100 points on the board to the students who are just about to start mounting their comeback with 10. But there's still plenty of time left in the game for anyone to win. Let's get right back into it. Let's play some spell check. <laughs> Here's how the game will work. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'm going to give you a word and 10 seconds to spell it. If you get it correct, you stay in the game. If you say a wrong letter at any point, you're out. If your team eliminates every player from the other team, you're going to win 30 points. If the clock runs out, each player left standing, they're going to bank 10 points for their team. You guys ready to play? All right, teachers, we're going to start with you. Miss Day, your word is irate. I-R-A-T-E. Good start. Catherine, album. A L B U M. Marvel. M A R V E L. Predict. P R E D I C T. Good, two a piece there. Nice job. Scheme. S C H E M E. Teachers, all three right. Benefit. B E N E F I I T. Double I. He tried to rush it. Receipt, Miss Day. Receipt. R E C E I P T. Always a hard one. Nice job. Catherine Knuckle. K N U C K L E. Graffiti, Mr. Bennett. G R A F F I T T I. Ooh, sorry. Double T there. Awkward. A W K W A R D. Two to two. Chocolate. C H O C O L A T E. Stays in the game. Margarine. M A R J O. Sorry, that's incorrect. Horizontal. Uh, H O R I Z O N T A L. On to the second card. Bamboozle. B A M B O O Z L E D. Oh, you added a D at the end. You had it there. You just had to stop. That means teachers are your winners of spell check. Wow. Maggie was so close to getting that one right. Teachers, that's up to 130 points. Students can still get back into it. We're not done yet. The classroom is still in session when we come back. A D. Today we have students versus teachers from Downingtown East High School in Chester County. I've made my way into the party atmosphere. What's up, guys? Show them the hands. We, you guys been rocking it all day. Yeah, we are. You've been yelling. You've been loud. What is it? Who's winning today? Uh, we're going for the students. They got to make that comeback. All right. It's 130 points for the teachers right now. 10 for the students. But I'm telling you, anybody can still win. Let's go, students on three. One, two, three, students. Let's put a big smile on. It's today. Let's do it. Why does Picture Day always make people nervous? Teachers, you guys always wear your favorite shirt for Picture Day? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. you have to, right? Absolutely. It's memorialized forever. Yep. All right, grab your buzzers. We're going to show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I will give you three clues one at a time. With each clue, we'll remove three boxes. The first person to buzz in and correctly identify the picture, they're going to win 10 points for their team. If you get it wrong, a member of the other team is going to have a chance to buzz in and steal. We have three pictures today. Here is your first. You have seen this person drop a pass. Mr. Doherty, is it Tom Brady? Yeah, it's Tom Brady. Wow, with one clue. I was about to say he's on the cover of Madden NFL 18 this year. Big year for him, big year. All right, here we go. Picture number two. This was originally supposed to be a balloon shape. Clue number two. Some colors used on this structure are astronaut white and galaxy gold. Mr. Bennett. Space needle? Is it the space needle? Yes, it is the space right. needle. Ten more points for you. Bring the teachers up to 150 students. We got to get jump started here. We need you. We need you. Here we go. Picture number three. This hip-hop artist was born in Chicago. Wow, Mr. Bennett. Chance the Rapper. 
Is it Chance the Rapper? Unbelievable! I have no idea how he just got that one. That would have anybody. A St. Louis scores teachers in the league with 160 points. Students that only have 10, but both teams still have a chance to win because it's time for the final exam. Let's do it. Listen, it happens to me all the time when I was in high school, guys. All right, I was late to first period, so you guys are just late to the classroom, which is fine. All right, the topic of today's final exam is the periodic table of elements. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is worth 100 points. Teams, you're going to work together and write down your answers in commercial break. But first, no writing quite yet. Let's hear these questions. Question number one on the final exam is what is the atomic symbol for sodium? Question number two, this element with the atomic number 36 shares its name with Superman's home planet. Finally, your final question, what is another name for the proton number of an atom? Of an atom. Okay, we know the question. Each team has 60 seconds to confer and come up with their answers. In just a couple of minutes, we're gonna see which team will ace their final exam. Is it going to be the students? Is it going to be the teachers? Who know? Don't go anywhere. But first, here's a look at how you can be a part of the classroom. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Today we have students and teachers from Downingtown East High School going head to head. Right now, the scores are teachers are crushing it, 160 points. Students, don't worry. It's 10 points on the board, but it's a million in our hearts. So we still love you guys. And hey, we're in the final exam, so it's still anybody's game. Miss Day, before we got started, we should check in with your cats. Who's watching them at this point? <sighs> They're watching themselves. They're responsible for themselves right now. Did you leave the TV on when I you did. came here? You yeah, did. So I did. they have sound. They're they good. are watching. They're good, yeah. So mommy, mommy says hi, guys. <laughs> uh, so how do you prep for something like this? You guys are up 160 or 150 points right now. Have you been prepping? I wa recorded on the DVR every single day. I came home after school, watched it. My students made me a pop culture study guide as well. So they actually, you had some, you had some like kind of behind the scene help. enemies, yeah. right? Who, who are helping you beat these students? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't I think that might be cheating students at her school. We'll talk to you. We're calling them up. Mr. Bennett, you said earlier today, too, your, your wife already won a show. She sure did. Are you feeling stressed because you said you had to win this thing? You know, I, I am, but you know, I'm feeling a little better now. Where did uh, What did she compete on? She competed on Cupcake Wars. Ooh! Yeah. Is that not yeah. the best wife I've ever heard of in my life? She's, she's pretty great. Yeah, so what's the weirdest flavor she's ever concocted? Bacon. Like bacon syrup cupcakes. That sounds so But they're pretty good. good. And I'll tell you what, guys. He look, he's in great shape, so whatever he's doing, I'm, he's eating cupcakes, and then he's running it off. So, hey, Mr. Doggy, we're not asking you a question. You have a baby coming. You need to prep for yourself. Yeah, I got enough on my plate. All right, scores. 160 points for the teachers. Students, 10. We are going to get right into this. You guys are ready to fire back, right? Final exams always when we cram and study. So here we go. What is the atomic symbol for sodium? Sherelle, you said? N-A. N-A is correct. That's 100 points to the oh score. Bring you up to 110. <laughs> We're going to keep firing right down this line, students. This element with the atomic number 36 shares its name with Superman's home planet. Did you say? You said Krypton. Krypton's right. That's another one. And guys, just yeah. like that, you're in the lead with 210 points to 160. Yeah. Finally, what is another name for the proton number of an atom. Uh, atomic number. Atomic numbers, right. They just right. swept their final exam, bringing them up to a score of 310 points. And currently in the lead, teachers, you a little bit nervous now? Maybe. We'll Let see. We'll see. You guys got to get two right out of the three to stay in this game and win the bragging rights and cash. So what is the atomic symbol for sodium? NA. And he's right. That brings you up to 260. You have to get one of these correct to take home that bragging right. This element with the atomic number 36 shares its name with Superman's home planet. Before you show it, 
You win this. You get this right. You beat the students. You got $500, and that faculty bragging rights is going back to Downingtown it's gonna, as the it's smartest gonna in the school. You guys said... Krypton. Krypton!